Agenda. Firstly, we'd like to inform you that as we continue to build consensus, seek opinion in regards to our recent experience of Monserrado. The National Executive Committee met at the session and made a determination not to put up a candidate in the pending election in Grand Kimmel County. Reason being, the party has launched a three months recovery process to seek answers to our performance in Montserrado. That process will go beyond Montserrado to the 14 political subdivisions of our country to establish the fundamental basis of building consensus, sampling views, and policing efforts to get towards strengthening the parties Senatorial performance in 2020. We don't just go to elections, we go to elections to win. And in the aftermath of more than a year and a half of governance initiatives, the party is re-evaluating its performance in regards to vital questions begging for answers. Partisans factoring to the governance cycle, partisans economic and academic inclusion at different levels, training on, of young militants or cadres, the proper agenda initiative. So there is a holistic re-evaluation process that has been launched within the context of the three months strategic recovery framework. <laughs> So it would not be prudent while we are analyzing our governance evaluation process to rush into elections. And 2020 is just around the corner. The election cycle will be here in the next or less than a year. So there's no hurry to rule to go into democratic contestation, but rather we need to begin preparing to avert a recurrence of what happened in Montserrado because never again will the CDC lose in Montserrado. Our dominance must be protected and asserted. There are critical issues that we need to tackle and we are not going to ignore those issues. As a party, 
we must lead a process whereby those questions begging answers are considered. We want to see more parties employing government. We stated that times will find number. We want to see those that don't belong in this government removed. Thank you. We made that very clear. Those that are committing leakages in the system also replaced. Those that do not support the president's proper agenda should be removed to make way for Liberians that are qualified, that are competent, and that are in support of the president's proper development agenda. And in my view, no political party has more qualified Liberian practitioners like the trap partner Coalition for Democratic Change. South. 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 The NPP, the LPDP, and the mighty program for democratic change has qualified Liberians, technocrats, prepared, experienced to provide services toward the success of His Excellency's agenda for governance. We keep saying the president needs to listen to his party. That time has come. No one will implement the proper agenda like seditious that are qualified and competent to govern. South. South. No one. We have hundreds and thousands of qualified seditions, bachelor's degree, master's degree, PhD, technocrats, etc. So we must return to basics. We must return to an era where the governance structure were increased to the need to bring people in government who are ready, prepared to make separate passes, not get the terrible pay. Seditions separate fast for more than 12 years. We found a dime. Printed their own t-shirts. Should have all the insults and remain committed as they are today. So for them, it does not how much they take home as a pay, but it is how much they continue to make sacrifices for the success of His Excellency's agenda. Wow. So the president should listen to his party and to his people. The president should listen to his party and to his people. Seditions will never betray you. They brought us where we are, and we will not forget them. Yes. I say we read, emphasize again, we will not sit down in the last editions to remain spectators in their own government. So, 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 so. <laughs> we will not. So, today's meeting is a part of the re-evaluation process of what may have gone wrong in one year, six months, to one year, eight months. So, while we are doing that, it will be unwise to go to an election without establishing a fundamental understanding of the problems. And how can you do that? By talking to those that are the voters, those that constitute the most potent force of electoral democracy in our country, in our party. So that's why we will not put up a candidate in the Cape Mount by election. We are preparing for 2020. In the, in the entire electoral expanse of Liberia. We want, we will not just have right of a bit and repeat of Monserrado's experience. We will move beyond that and make sure that we win majority counties in the 2020 senatorial election. South. That is our projection. And we can do it easily. Once our voting block is satisfied, once the dishes are happy, 
So I just thought you should know that it is a decision. It is not because of a lack of candidature. There are many persons, strong people, that long to contest on our party's ticket in Cape Mount. Amidst that competing interest and amidst our own strategic agenda, we thought it was not prudent to go into an election right now. So we have a three month program that has been launched. That's the second point of our press conference. That three months program is under the nomenclature of the strategic recovery program, which has translated into a committee that we have 15 persons working within its organic ground to lead our evaluation process through all Liberia. The Central Committee has appointed Mr. Isaac Val Tupa, former chairman of the USA chapter, as the chairman of that committee. He is coming down to Liberia. He's a diehard party stalwart. He's committed, he's loyal to the president's proposed agenda and to the party's revolutionary credential. And we will release in the coming days. 14 other persons that will be selected through different consultation building process to serve on that committee along with him. We are bringing seditions from Liberia, from Europe, from America, from, of course, Canada, to serve on that committee. Ordinary people, part of Star Wars, part of countries. That committee will have a three weeks, I mean, a three months work tenure. With a term of reference to generate opinions, sampled views, evaluate problems, and then report back to the executive committee. And based on that submission, then the three crucial reasons why we are here, they will go to a national retreat, a national governance and assessment retreat of the entire party structure. What an NPP what an LPDP, what a Congress for Democratic Change, and its stakeholders, Star Wars, will converge in December in Vanjama, Lofa County. This national, this national retreat is going to evaluate our performance as a government for the last one, to, one and a half to two years. And then we will also have the privilege to submit, the executive committee now, to submit to the governing council, chaired by His Excellency President Weir, the report from the committee, the ABA committee now, that will now set the platform for a discussion surrounding the way forward when the 2020 elections. This is a strategic framework that you consider all the challenges we are encountering as a party, the opportunities, and how we can empower the people. That is cardinal and fundamental. Governance is an architecture, er architecture erected by the people and must always be for the people. That national retreat that will bring together all the stakeholders of the coalition of democratic change will be a solution-driven retreat that will begin to answer the questions of governance that ensure the people remain at the center and pinnacle of governance in this country, especially those that labor for 13 years to bring this government to power. We have come to that now and will speak fearlessly. It's time for those in government entrusted by the president to perform, it's time for them to deliver. This government will not fail. And those that will attempt to stand in a way of progress will move or will be removed. Because the people that put the government the power are still here. Yes. 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 
we are able to create the necessary political pressure for decision making. Nobody should take this party for Joe. This is the mighty coalition for democratic change. Sour. This should be a rule awakening to those that are passive, that are conducting selfish political engineering. The time has come to deliver. Those that are delivering, we say thank you to you. Those that are not, it's time to give way. Because we did not come here to fail. We did not come here to fail. We will succeed. Amen. We will succeed. Amen. So if you are in government and you are not contributing to our success agenda, the people will ensure you vacate government. And I will be the one leading that process. As I'm oh, no. What the? What the? What the? What the? Your nose by the government, yo yo. Yo. Mighty yo. Men die for the government, mighty. Mighty. Your team bring the need down for the suffer, yo yo. Yo. Your money to make the need down for your corrupt system, yo yo. Yo. So begin to get ready. Our role will be leading to Wendama for the National Governance Evaluation and Assessment Retreat. In the coming days, we will hold meeting with the LPDP and the MPP to set up a national structure that will run our retreat. We will meet the Vice President. Vice Chancellor Joel Taylor and meet the standing brother of the LPDP, Speaker Tyler. And by the way, we say congrats to him. He just won the corruption case, right? Yes. yes. So all that debate that all the men there has been, they are serious legal blow. Mm -hmm. So he stands a clean man. Yeah. As a matter of fact, please stand up to your feet and give him a big round of applause. <laughs> For the haters that pray and talk at you, the skirmishes you are seeing in governance is a result of the hypocrisy of the 60 percent of those in power we met there. They are hypocrites. The ship is sailing. The ship is sailing. That's going to prosper Amen. under this president. Amen. Because we will guide the ship to sail, smooth sailing. So don't worry. By the grace of God, we are here. And <clears throat> the third reason we, hear it, we are here is to clarify the business insinuation. Re Ashonara Tenase! Ashasuru! 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 Germany, yo, 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 party, yo. We challenge you to provide proof that you wrote in party. The baseline insinuation of the police is by the General Patrick Sudu. For the record, we are not asking for preferential treatment in law enforcement. We've always said here, time without number. Mm -hmm. That if anybody slap your right ear, what do you do? Yeah. Tell them yeah. Yeah. We preach non-violence as an agenda. It's a principle we believe in. During my days in opposition, when 
I was constantly harassed. I've been thoroughly arrested by the police under Madame Sterling. There's not a single day I confronted the police. I was shot at by a blank range. You know, God saved my life. Brutalized by baton, by police banditry. Not a single day I raised my hands against the police officer. <coughs> Even when provoked. So why would I now attack my own police that work for the government that we fought to elect? So I don't even need to dignify with a response, probably solution, insinuation that I'm a person of interest. You call me person of interest? Do you know the definition? The linguistic origin, the syntax analysis. A person of interest? In law enforcement, when you refer to someone as a person of interest, means they are suspected of committing a crime. What crime did I commit? My best witness is the man that claim was assaulted, Martin Sarko. I'm challenging Sarko, a man of respect, to come up and support Father Sudo's reckless comment. Yo! Your chronic reckless comment, yo, 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 but yo, reckless comment, but you know, because, and I respect one or two, because he is a professional law enforcement practitioner. He will never say that because I have never ever in my life raised a finger against a police officer, talk less of a man that I respect. So you're the best witness. So it is forever impossible that someone of my ranking, my portfolio, my personage, with, with violently attack a peaceful citizen. I will never do that. Or a police officer, I will never do that. Never. What compounds the hypocrisy in Patrick is that, of course, the police director, he goes to the Senate looking for scapegoat to save his neck. And he lies on the oath, which is perjury. That he wrote me a letter. I said, but Patrick, because I spoke to him last night. I said, I did not receive a letter from you. Why would you lie? He said, oh, the letter went there, but they said your name was misspelled, so they sent it back. So if I did not receive a letter, then what is the basis of the insinuation that you invited me and I'm not cooperating? You are playing with another person's character. I have called upon the police to do a retraction that I would never send a letter. Patrick is just a call away from me. He could have just placed a call. The police has invited me countless times in opposition during this governance process by phone. And I just walked there. Many days. So any call by the police inviting us to an investigation will be gracious law or no. Because that's what responsible people do. That's it. That's it. We don't run from the law, but we don't break laws. To say you are inviting me because I'm a person of Interest is a misplacement and mischaracterization of the phrase. If you invite me because I'm the chairman of CDC, then that is understandable. Whatever you clean goes wrong in CDC and you want to invite me for questioning, I will come because I'm ready to stand and answer questions to things that may have taken place that I don't know about. If you leave one sedition and you invite me to explain where I know, I will speak what I know. 
I will defend where there is injustice. And if the president is wrong, I will support them. Because each of us, irrespective of political identity, has an obligation to respect the rule of law. If a sedition breaks the law, we will now support you. You will be prosecuted and held accountable consistent with the rule of law. If no law was broken, as the is meant victimized, we will defend them, because that is our job. My job is to defend and protect every member of this party so. who does the right thing. So. And those that behave wrongly or unruly will not stand to protect. You say you're better at Carol's Gray or about Carol's Gray, and I follow for him, it's also a lie. You don't treat people like that. But when you were dealing with a lawmaker for this return, you wrote the speaker to ask them to turn over. But when you didn't wait on Mr. Gray, then you say you invited him. You go to the Senate hearing and spilled his moral blood, lying against him. That is wrong. And Sodu means to do a retraction from Sodu. Because a lie is a lie no matter who tells it. You are the police director of this country. You must behave consistent with acts governing moral premises of our country. The CDC rejecting no uncertain terms that the police did not write any CDC official inviting them to a hearing. Never. Mm. And Sudo's lying under oath, which is perjury, and I hope the Senate can really invite him to go and explain that, should be exposed. If the police is interested in inviting me or anyone here to a hearing tomorrow, you don't even need to write, just call, I will come. Because why you now they suggest I'm under investigation? That's not true. If you claim that, then I will ask you to submit to us the fact sheet where Marvin Sacco wanted to complain me. And no, he can never say that because he knows that I can never be involved. I can never lift a finger against him or any police officer for that matter. As I just thought to set the record straight, because I'm now on the front pages today, I'm going to on the front pages for being investigated in beating a police officer. That is unfounded, it is baseless, and is derived from the figment of Konosudo's imagination. It's not true. If he's claiming that perhaps People suspected of his addictions did what he said they did. That's a different matter. And will ask the police, anybody involved in doing or attacking a police officer or attacking Mr. Saka should be arrested. Because no sedition will be supported in an attack against a police officer. No sedition. It doesn't matter who you are, we will not support you. The law will take its course. So we just thought to make that very clear because Mr. Sudu went and misled public opinion into believing that we are acting in recalcitrance and did not submit to a scheduled police investigation to whom to which we were invited. That's a blunt light, and Sudu should be shameless to go to the Senate, that honorable assembly and lie against leaders of this party. Sudo should be concerned about 14 crimes. The crime rate is rising. Our people need to go to bed and sleep in peace. That is his job. That is his job. There are too many regular comments that border on national security. 
People should be brought to a boat when they make these kinds of regular, irresponsible, violent vetrios. That's his job. He needs to stop looking for scapegoats to pretend to be fighting crime. We are here keeping the peace. That's all we do here. We protect the peace, we keep the peace, protect the rule of law. We tell people every day, do not be violent. So do not make me a target of propaganda. I'm not in a bad scapegoat. And so they must be careful. Because I had the law to my advantage. I can see justice within the limits of the rule of law. He's not about the law, like I'm not about the law. If it brings my character to public disrepute, I will take him to the law. The law serves all Liberians. So before you make one comment that bothers on my reputation, think twice because I have the power to utilize the rule of law to seek justice. Why did yesterday injured my reputation? And the police needs to retract. If you say you wrote me a letter, then we want to see a signed return copy. When the letter was delivered, who signed for it? Show everybody it should be signed for. Sure. They did call me to invite me for a hearing. ABS, let's subpoena the call logs. The police had never placed a call in regard to this issue. Never. So to go to the Senate and lie is reprehensible to say the least. It will be corrected. A hint to the wise. Thank you for coming. God bless you. Looking for a quality and affordable insurance company? Then look no further. Peter Massacre Insurance, located in central New Jersey, is one of the best around. Peter Massacre Insurance specializes in homeowner's insurance, auto insurance, life insurance, business insurance, and many more. We even offer a free financial planning consultation. We partner with over 20 top-rated companies to make sure we provide affordable prices to our clients. We have a full bilingual staff to fit your needs as well. Let Peter Massacre Insurance help you today.